I purchased this washer hoping that I could tell you a very good reason why you shouldn't buy the cheapest front loader available, but this washer really disappointed me in such a great way. For those of you new to my channel, I basically buy these appliances and do my laundry in them, and then I tell you how I feel about it afterwards. There's nothing scientific about my test. I just do my laundry. After I'm done with my laundry, I take it out, I smell it, I let you know if it either smells like soap or it smells like a dirty locker room. If it smells like nothing, then that means it did a good job cleaning. I usually run about 20 or 30 loads through these machines before I come to my opinion. This WM3500 is pretty much the same as most LGs. The only difference between this one and most other LGs is the updated console and the fact that these new front load washers have a DC drain pump now instead of an AC pump, which probably doesn't make much of a difference to you guys, but the DC pump's a lot quieter. This washer is one of the quietest machines I've ever tested. Looking at the console panel, you can see that this is a pretty stripped down version of the LG. It only has 10 cycles and 10 options. It does have the six motion technology, but that's really just about it. It doesn't have turbo wash or any onboard heater. Underneath the hood, this washer is very familiar to most LG washing machines. It's very basic, straightforward, and pretty easy to take apart and diagnose. As you can see, the only difference really with most of these new LGs is that they move the computer board from the rear of the machine to the front. Looking underneath this machine, you could actually really appreciate the simplicity of the whole thing. Once you get to the bottom of the machine, the only thing that's really there is just the drain pump and a few suspension rods. This washer is very, very well thought out and very easy to service. So easy to service, in fact, I'll show you right now how easy it is to dismantle this washer. I had nothing but a Phillips drill, although you can do it with a Phillips screwdriver without any issue. This total process took me about four or five minutes total. And from this spot, you can access just about every part of the machine. Let's go over some specs. This washer comes with a pretty standard 4.5 cubic foot tub. It does have 10 wash programs and 10 options to add to the wash programs. It doesn't have a water level or water plus. It's all auto load sensing, so it's going to do all the thinking for you. It does have a lightning fast 1300 RPM spin speed and weighs in at about 170 pounds, which is pretty beefy for a washer. The best part about this washer and probably why you're looking at it is because on sale, it's only about $599. This is one of the cheapest front loaders you could buy. And I'm not saying it's cheap because it's cheap. It's cheap because it's just a really good deal. Some of the things I really like about this machine, the washer does have a 4.5 cubic foot capacity, which I think is a pretty large tub period for a washing machine. With 4.5 cubic foot, you can easily wash a king size comforter. The washing machine is very effective at cleaning. This washer aced my ketchup test. This is one of the best performing washers I've ever tested with a ketchup test. It blows my mind how this washer could clean such a dirty ketchup stained towel so effectively with such a small amount of water. By virtue of it being a front loader, it does have a very inherent gentle wash. If you have a lot of delicates, you should generally be looking at a front load washer. Just the tumbling action itself is a little bit more gentle than top loader with a pull agitator. Front load washers are also very efficient in general. This washer practically uses no water. I don't understand how it cleans, but it does. It's also very skimpy on the electricity. With a DC pump and a inverted motor, this machine will probably cost you dollars per year to run. One of the best things I love about this front loader is that it has an accessible drain filter. And this may not look like a big deal to you guys, or it may even look like an eyesore. But let me tell you, if you get a quarter stuck in your pump, if you don't have this access cover available to you, you're going to be paying a service guy like me $200 to come out and take a quarter out of your machine. It'd be nice if you could actually just do that yourself every once in a while. 
It's also great because if you're moving, you could drain the washer completely of all of its water and pre prepare it better for shipping. One other thing I really like about this machine is that it is easy to service. I know a lot of people, they like to gripe about LGs being difficult to service, and it's just because they don't know how to work on them. These are computers, and you have to access it like a computer. You go on the onboard diagnostics, you test what's wrong with it, it tells you what's wrong with it, you change the part, you move on with your life. The things that I don't like about this washer is the fact that it has incredible incredibly long cycles I mean it's like an hour and a half to do like a load of laundry that's kind of unacceptable to me another thing that seems to be a growing complaint with this model washer is that the options display screen is kind of dim and I kind of know what you're talking about when I don't have my camera lights on the unlit part of the display panel is actually a little bit difficult to see did I also mention that it has extremely long wash cycles? Oh my goodness. Anyways, another thing I don't care about is that I feel that it doesn't use enough water. I know I keep saying that the washer is a very effective cleaner and yada yada and all that good stuff, but just kind of like from an emotional standpoint, I wish I saw a little bit more water in there. Especially the bedding cycle. This was the one cycle I was totally not impressed with. In fact, I was a little disappointed. I washed a queen size comforter in this machine. And although it did get it clean, it did kind of reek of Tide afterwards. I felt like if there's a little bit more water in this machine, it would have done an excellent job. Overall, I think this washer would be a good buy. For the price, you really can't beat it. LG is a very good quality product and you can expect this washer to last you a reasonably long time. If cost is a major concern, I definitely would consider this washer. If you could afford a few extra dollars though, buy one with the turbo wash feature. It makes a huge difference. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.